Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Snapchat. The report was first published on our website Tuesday, July 26, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Snapchat? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since July 22, 2022, our system ranks the Snapchat stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 6.761. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 3.31%. This is an average return of minus 1.10% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Snapchat our last headline reads, Red Day on Tuesday for Snapchat. The Snapchat stock price fell by minus 3.22% on the last day, Tuesday, July 26, 2022, from $9.95 to $9.63, and has now fallen four days in a row. During the day the stock fluctuated 3.12% from a day low at $9.63 to a day high of $9.93. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 31.41% loss for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 44 million shares and in total, 93 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $899.03 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $83.34, and the lowest price was $9.63. Right now the price is 88.44%, or $73.71, .71, below 52-week high at $83.34, which also is all-time high for the stock. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 50.46% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 76.18% and minus 19.90%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 87.34% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 100% and minus 86.46%. This equals a price between $0 and $1.30 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Snapchat stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give PE ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Snapchat stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Snapchat. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Snapchat stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $12.78 and $13.57. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, July 21, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 41.10%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a sell signal four days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal four days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal four days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal four days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal four days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average gave a sell signal four days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 191 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 189 days ago. 
Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Snapchat There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved 30 cents between high and low, or 3.12%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 7.11%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Snapchat meets first resistance at $9.95. If you do not hold Snapchat shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. The stock does not have any support from accumulate volume below and may therefore fall very hard and fast given the right conditions. Caution is warned and you should not place any bet unless you're a skilled trader and know how to play these cases. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Snapchat is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On July 20, 2022 Jenkins Elizabeth made an inside buy of 14,864 of option, right to buy. On July 20, 2022 Jenkins Elizabeth made an inside buy of 9,114 of class a common stock. On July 20, 2022 Coles Joanna made an inside buy of 14,864 of option, right to buy. On July 20, 2022 Coles Joanna made an inside buy of 9,114 of class a common stock. On July 20, 2022 Vargas Fidel made an inside buy of 14,864 of option, right to buy. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 47.153. In total, the insiders bought 1,301,796 and sold 3,724,367 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Snapchat stock a buy? Snapchat holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Wednesday 27th we expect Snapchat to open up 10 cents and start trading at $9.73. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.